On Anzac Day, thousands of Australians gathered in the country's largest city's central squares, along the Gallipoli shoreline, and in France to pay respect to the nation's fallen soldiers. At 4.20 a.m., the Cenotaph in Sydney's Martin Place hosted the first of several sombre services. A few minutes later, Brisbane's event at the Shrine of Remembrance in Anzac Square followed. Nearby the location where, 108 years ago today, Australian soldiers started their assault on the Turkish peninsula that resulted in the deaths of thousands of Allied soldiers, according to tweet of Mr Albanese this morning. Through this morning, Australians have gathered in peace, free citizens of a proud and free nation. 108 years after those first Anzacs set off in their boats, we remember them and all who followed and we reflect on all that has been made possible by generations of sacrifice. We hope that war will one day be done, that the cause of peace will prevail and we can stop inscribing names on memorials. But even then we will keep gathering before the dawn. We will gather together, we will gather for them. It is because of them that we can await the light. Walter Blair, a young primary school teacher who was one of the Australians slain at Gallipoli, was described by Veterans Affairs Minister Matt Keogh. He enlisted in the Australian Imperial Force and was quickly assigned to the 11th Battalion as a private, according to Keogh. On April 25, 1915, before daylight, the 11th Battalion was among the first to arrive in Gallipoli. Three days passed before Walter's unit was relieved of duty. On May 1, they went back to the trenches. The following day, he passed away. Like countless others, Walter is unknown to have a grave. His name can be seen on the Lone Pine Memorial to the missing as of right now. Much has changed in the last 108 years about how war is fought, but the great character of Australians at war has not, according to Mr Albanese. But we haven't always honoured those who have fought for us as properly as we ought to, it must be admitted, he continued.